This lasagna is not only an excellent meal, but it will be wonderful as leftover for the next day. Let us start straight with the ragu because it needs the most time to cook and we start building the flavor with some bacon. Now I'm going to add in the ground beef. You can use either beef and pork or even chicken. Break up your ground beef. As you can see, it's starting to remove its own juice and I'm going to cook it until it doesn't have any moisture. Please check the information box for the exact ingredients that I used. Things look very good. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. As you can see, it has the fat from the bacon. Then at this stage, I'm going to add in my garlic. And then I'm also going to introduce my red onions. I'm just going to let this one to saute for a few minutes. At this stage, I'm now going to introduce my celery and carrots. Those are the only vegetables I'm using today, but you're free to use any vegetable of your choice. I am now going to season with some dried uh, spices. Here I have thyme, rosemary, and oregano. You can use fresh ones if you have. Don't forget some salt and pepper. And I'm going to add my tomato paste. And because the tomato paste is tajin, you know it has a lot of acid, I've just added a little bit of sugar to balance the flavor. And now here I'm going to add tomato puree. Whoops. At this stage you can add some water so that you get a lot of sauce and we need it. But I'm going to add some beef broth. I will let this simmer for 45 to 1 hour. I am now making the white sauce, you know, the bechamel sauce. I am going to take 40 grams of butter, which I am melting on low heat because I don't want the butter to burn. And as soon as it melts, I'm going to add 40 grams of flour. So equal parts of flour and butter. I'm just going to cook this a little bit because you don't want the taste of raw flour in your mouth. And now I'm going to add a liter of milk. I'm going to start with a small amount. I'm using high fat milk. And I'm going to whisk until it starts to thicken up. Now. 
it's starting to thicken up i'm going to season it with some nutmeg about a quarter of a nutmeg a bit of salt and pepper and a bit of parmesan cheese and there we go our sauce is done the next step i'll show you how i layer the lasagna i am now starting to layer the lasagna and i will start with a base of ragu this will help that the lasagna doesn't stick on the pan and then i'm going to do the first layer and now i'm going to put the ragu i am using this lasagna pasta that is no boil so you don't need to pre-cook them which make work very easy and i'm going to give you the trick of what you do so that the lasagna cooks make sure that the pasta is well covered with the sauce and also when you use the sauce when it's still hot it starts to soften this pasta you know it's like it starts to cook them and now i'm going to add my bechamel sauce and then i'm going to put some parmesan cheese just a bit of it and i also have some gouda cheese by the way you can use any cheese of your choice you can use mozzarella you can use cheddar cheese the choice is yours just a bit of it and you continue with the process until you run out of everything A bit of parmesan, a bit of gouda. You can do up to four layers, but at least you should have a minimum of three layers. And since it's the last layer, I'm going to put a lot of cheese. Make sure that the cheese goes to all corners. I am now going to cover it with a foil. Please spray your foil with cooking spray so that the cheese doesn't stick on it okay. it's beautiful because of using the foil it's not super crispy and You should let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes before you serve so that everything can set up. But I can't wait, guys. Let's check, guys, if the noodles are done. Yeah, you can tell already how soft they look. It's perfect.